Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have made some more audio adjustments. Come to find out the front microphone, no no, the front headphone port on my PC is um faulty unfortunately. So that also could mean the front microphone port is also faulty. So yeah, that's not a good thing. It's only a year old, which kind of sucks. I knew it was faulty. I just forgot until I was like, oh yeah, that's right. That was a thing. So basically what this means is whenever I plug in something into the port, I have to have the cord a certain way for all of the audio to come out. I don't, know, I don't know why that's a thing. It's possible the computer got damaged in transit or they gave me a bad audio, whatever they want to call it, in the front, port, whatever, I don't know. So now I'm using the ones in the back of the computer, and they are so far fine. If all else fails, I will have to replace them, and I don't have the money for that. So, yeah. I honestly don't know what to do on this. Um, just, if I quit uploading videos with audio, or with my voice commentary, that's why. We're going to jump right back in and continue on <coughs> and enjoy the game. Anyways, how is everyone doing? I'm doing fine. One new mail, but is there anything new over in the community forums? There is. Nothing new from that, especially the person we sold an item to, thanking us. I could read it, but it's not really important. Okay, so this is Coon. I'm gonna move this actually so I don't cut the cord. Yeah, I'll just do that. Whatever. Alright. Coon says, hey, what's up? Well, we're finally ready for that thing. I'll wait for you at Mac Anu's Chaos Gate. So invite me when you're ready. P.S. About the incident in the town square, could you not tell Pi about it? Pretty, pretty please. I forgot to do one thing. Give me a moment. I normally have a... a stopwatch running, so I know when to put... A cut in the video and I forgot to start it. So yeah, now I have it going. Cool. I don't want to accidentally make a two hour long video and me not knowing how to cut videos or edit or anything or accidentally cut something out because I'm a noob at this. Make a mistake and, you know, yeah. I'd rather just have a timer. Oh, you're finally here. That ain't gonna work. Then let's get going. The area words for our destination are Delta Great Cursed In-Laws. <laughs> what? The old hag's coming too? Well... Because there's no guarantee we won't come across any danger. Huh. You coming? Hurry up and invite me already. Acquired Pies member address. New mail again. Okay, well, I'll take it. This is what I mean by we're having to... Yeah. Yeah. Really? 
affection increase. I'm afraid you're not the one who doesn't understand yourself. I'm not telling you to understand everything right away. Just be aware that there are many things that you don't know. I don't care what Master Yada said. Don't get too carried away. Now that you're part of GU, I won't allow you to do anything foolish. This is not a game for us. I will have you follow our directions. That is the quickest way for you to understand what you claim to be cryptic. And please stop taking your emotions out on me like a child. I would advise you to think long and hard about your goals and interests and what is best for them. I want to ask this one because I've never done it before. You see what happens. I've always gone for the other one. Now, is there anything else new here? No. Okay. Another one already. Oh, it's just this. Okay. Okay. Now we'll do this again. In case the game crashes or whatever else happens, you never know. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Dang it. My mistake. Alright. And they're still there, that's funny. Alright, we got no monies, but who cares? Alrighty, warp menu, bookmark, cursed in-laws. We're going here. Alright, we're here. So, let's get this started. Tell me, how the hell do you summon an avatar? You really are a brat, aren't you? Is that how you ask someone to help you? Your boss is the one who put me in GU. Shouldn't you guys be asking for my help? You damn! How dare you speak of Master Yada like- Okay, okay, that's enough. Listen, we didn't come here to fight you two. I know that. Yada already told you, but let's recap. Our characters were originally created by CC Corporation several years ago as part of a project. Hmm. That's what the Epitaph users are, right? So why does this make our characters so special? That's a CC Corp secret. Non-disclosure agreement? Actually, I don't know the answer to that. What about you, Pi? <laughs> anyway... Epitaph users are characters that have the ability to use avatars. To put it roughly, it's kind of like a transformation of your character data in the game. The power of an avatar can be surmised as an alteration of data. Altering data? You mean data drain? Yep, that's one of the abilities an avatar has. Try Edge use data drain to put me back to level one. So, he's an Epitaph user too? But wait, he didn't use an avatar. Then what the hell is he? Man, I'm getting confused. By activating their data-altering abilities, Epitaph users are able to gain powers that far surpass the parameters included in the original game design. But that doesn't mean they can do anything. There are certain restrictions governing Epitaph users as well. Soon, you'll come to understand that. So to summon avatars, I just have to understand those rules? Basically. How? It's right here. Huh? Inside your heart, the player's own feelings and willpower are the origins of avatars. <laughs> yeah, right. Epitaph users are still just characters in a game, though, right? How does a bunch of binary data 
get influenced by feelings and will. Epitaph users' characters are different from normal characters. Different how? We're linked to our characters, not just through our controllers and goggles, but through our hearts as well. Haven't you ever felt something like that, Haseo? When would I have felt that? Wait a minute. What the... Something is... Something is starting to... It's... It's growing. Let's hurry up and begin your lesson. Begin? You want to learn how to summon your avatar, don't you? Of course. Then, we'll battle here until you get it. Huh? Battle? Yes. Battles are the quickest way for you to sharpen your consciousness. And that will help you to awaken your avatar. Huh. So basically, you guys don't really know the proper way to do this, do you? Uh, you've got us there. For Pi and me, the entire process was more like an accident when we awakened our avatars. But that accident was fate. For now, let's fight this field's boss. Okay. Time to fight a boss. And some more enemies, too. There's some right there. You're mine! <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks for the bonus XP. And they're all dead as a doornail. Man, they're just going through their stuff. The heck. That's why. Cool, I can sell for later. Cool, I can sell for later. Because it's pointless. Oh, hello. What does that do for me? Uh, where's it at? Items. Oh, that's pointless too. Yeah, no, we don't need that at all. Enemies that are weak against water, it's okay with, but enemies that are resistant to water, nope. Another one. That's money. You're mine. It's nothing but money. Nope, we're not doing that. You're not doing that either. You're not doing that either. Laid thorns. Ooh. Okay, I have nothing I can give them. Because they're all above my level and it is okay. I don't care. You see what's in this treasure chest up here. I don't feel like losing after this fight. That's a bunch of horse manure. Yay, more XP. Not that it matters. Oh, sprite drops. Nice. Oh, I need those. Please give me more of those. 
Oh uh, yes. That is a wonderful item. I want to buy those like right now. Of course I had this much attack speed normally. Be nice. I leveled up. Sweet. Yeah, let's go up there. Oh, you know what? We're here. King? No. Oh, excuse me. Lame. Here's our chance. <laughs> Missed it, but whatever. I got a ring, Gacky. Thanks for the bonus XP. No, oh, I had another one. Dang it, oh well. Sprite drop. Cool. I'll need it later on. You're mine! <laughs> this game is so freaking easy. That's not the one I targeted, but whatever. Not that I need the XP anyway, because I've gained two levels here. Just leveling up is a breeze. Ooh, hello. Kick, kick, you kicked me. Give, give, give me money. Oh, money. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Amazingly, two thousand dollars. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, I had one, but it's gone now. Oh well. What's in the box? Cool! I'll take it. We're not doing that. Oh, you know what? We have enough. What the? What is this? A Doors on passing! Hey, bro! Be a Poo poo item. And I'll show you why. It's honestly not worth it. Because I think I can get weapons that do the same thing. So why would I do that? I mean, I want this. Never do this in press B. Or. If this is on the Switch, A. Honestly, if I had a Switch, I would swap A and B. I would. A is not supposed to be B. I'm sorry. Don't I don't think so. Thanks for the double XP. I mean, I wish. There's no point going that, honestly. Weapon level up. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, you kind of have to level your weapons up, too. Where's it at? 
uh, status. Yeah, it takes a while. I think in volume one it goes to ten, or is it five? I forgot. But you get more skills that way. Your guard down. I don't think so. So how much did I get from that? Thunder status. Yeah, it barely went up. Yeah, it takes a long time. It's worth it's worth it though. I forgot one item box. I will go and get that real quick. <laughs> I say real quick, but it's like a snail space. I really want the movement speed. That's all I want. Another poopy item. Cool. Thanks, game. I'm gonna sell that piece of crap. Can I get something good? Nope. What's in box number three? I don't think so. I love doing that. I don't know why I don't don't do it. It's faster. Oh, I know why. You can get interrupted. That's worth it. That's not worth it. Why do damage to only one type of enemy when you can do equal damage to everything? Was this in turn more damage? I, I just, I don't understand. I, I really don't. It sounds good on paper, but then whenever it's in practice, it's like, oh, I'm doing less damage now. Mm, why is that? Oh, I know why. This piece of crap. Yeah. Then you either gotta run back to town, get rid of it, or change your weapons. It's, it's, no. But how the hell am I supposed to activate the power? Try to figure that much out for yourself. Keep the image of summoning an avatar in your mind. Okay. The image of summoning an avatar. Summoning an avatar. I'll summon you, avatar. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Haseo? Hey. Huh? Let's get going! Oh, I thought it froze. <laughs> That would have been very bad if it did. You wanna hurt me? I'll become immune to your bullshit. I got nothing good from that boss. Typical. Haseo, are you doing okay? Hmm? I said shut up! I'm concentrating. 
I will summon it, so just shut up and watch. Haseo, you have reached your limit. Let's call it a day. What's going on? Why won't my avatar appear? Uh, well... Maybe the problem's your lack of talent. What did you say? Even if you are one of the Epitaph users, if you, the player, don't know how to use it, well, then it's pointless. Yeah, right. You two just aren't teaching me the right way. Listen, if you guys can't even keep your promise to me, then the deal that I had with GU is off! Idiot. If you can't summon an avatar, then we don't need you to help us now. <clears throat> Come on, Pi. That's enough. Let's just call it a day, alright? Alright. Let's head back, okay? Got an A rank. Got a new word. Don't worry about it. We don't expect you to awaken that easily. Better luck next time. Anyway, just rest up for now. When you've got your stamina back, we'll give it another shot and try again. Well, see ya. Frankly, I'm glad that you weren't able to summon your avatar. Kuhn and I. Now do you understand why we needed two Epitaph users to support you? No. Its soul will have enough power to suppress your avatar in the event it should go out of control or something. Suppress? Yes. If your avatar went berserk, we would not have hesitated to use Data Drain on you. In order to stop you. No matter what effect it may have had on you. Well, that's just cruel. Is it? Great risk comes with strength that is too powerful. Huh? Neither Kuhn nor myself can completely control the power of our avatars. Power that has escaped its user's hand will do nothing but destroy. This power really shouldn't even be used at all in the first place. But you, you plan to use that power. Am I wrong? If you had gotten your avatar, you would be thrilled to use it. Even if it was the exact same power that hurt those that are most precious to you. You seem to know me well. Well, of course I do. It comes natural to me, don't you see? You and I are very much alike. Huh? I think it would be best if you didn't get involved in these matters anymore. Summoning an avatar won't make you happy. That I know for certain. Hmm. You don't want me to get involved, huh? Well, for your information, if I could do that, I wouldn't be in the mess I'm in right now. True. <coughs> he has a point. Oh, excuse me. Two names. Four, actually. Infection increase. <coughs> Alright. GU stands for, uh, actually, I don't know either. 
I'm not actually employed by CC Corp. I was just a regular player. If anything, I'm more like you than like them. There's lots of things they haven't told me. As for getting used to your avatar, there's no need to rush. It's not like me or Pi. Could use our avatars right away. Guildmaster change request. This is basically the game dev saying, hey, you've been made the Guildmaster for Canard. Guildmaster, huh? Well, I guess I'll go to at home then. And this is Celebus saying he finished the change for the Guildmaster and we still receive an email and we did. And reminding us Canard's goal is to help out beginners by giving them support. We don't concentrate on leveling up. What's important is to be expressed with parameters. Congrats on making it to the Guildmaster. Yep, that's about it. Cool. Anything new here? Nope. Alright, time to save. And I want to put a cut here. <laughs>